Hi everyone, Greg here with another floor framing detail from the Trust Joist installation guide for floor and roof framing. When using TGI joists in a floor system, it's important that the load be properly transferred down to the foundation. Keep in mind that the house is a system and the proper load transfer is important to help ensure that everything works together. You'll find that B2 blocking may be required if there is a load bearing wall above an intermediate bearing wall. The B2 detail is designed to transfer the load from above around the joist directly down to the foundation or bearing wall below. When the CS detail is called for, it's typically to transfer a large point load directly through the floor cavity into the foundation so that it does not land on a TGI joist. Usually this is a column that bears on the wall plate above the floor system. For both of these details, you want to first cut 2x4 squash blocks. Be sure to cut the squash blocks so that they are exactly 1 16th of an inch deeper than the TGI joists. This allows the load to be transferred around the TGI joist to the load bearing wall below. You'll need to attach the blocks using 10D nails through the top and bottom flanges. With the CS detail, more than two squash blocks may be required in order to match the width of the column above. All right, that's it for the B2 and CS details. By using these techniques, you'll help ensure the quality and safety of the structure and that your TGI joist will perform as designed. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video brought to you by Warehouser, manufacturer of Trust Joist engineered wood products. Be sure to check out the other videos in this series of floor framing details, which you'll find online at trustjoist.com videos. You can also find more detailed information on floor framing in the Trust Joist installation guide for floor and roof framing, which is available online or from your local representative.